Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Billy Hatcher. Okay, so we left off, we uh, brought sunlight to Blizzard Castle, and we rescued the Elder, and now we're going to face off against the uh, Blizzard enemy. And the one thing I actually- hold on, this isn't it. The one thing I'm actually curious, and uh, I just want to watch, is this like a little like extra thing that happens if you don't press any button in the startup. And it wasn't the one that happened before. That one, like that was just the uh, like little demo for what the game is like. But I'm talking about this little like extra, it's like a cutscene esque thing. But this thing here. That was actually pretty nice. Yeah, I, I have seen it before, but I was just I just wanted to watch it again because it's been years since I've seen it, so it was actually pretty nice, you know. You know the, like you know the game it's, it's like I said, it's like really good. I mean the music, the graphics, like you know, for a GameCube game and you know, like a kids platforming game, it's actually really good, you know? Of course like I said, it's made by the same people that made the Sonic games, so you know, and Sega. I know they make some shit games in the Sonic series, but um, whenever, whenever they do good, they, they really do good, you know? Like, you know, speaking of like the Sonic games and stuff, it's like funny how everyone thought that, oh, Sonic 06 is like the worst Sonic game ever. Now, fucking Sonic Boom is like even worse than Sonic 06, because at least Sonic 06, the gameplay is kind of... Sonic in a way and also the music's really really good like the music is one of the games like saving graces you know but Sonic Boom gameplay sucks it's not like Sonic and the music sucks too and even the final battle also sucks if you want if you guys are wondering how I know about that I've seen Game Grumps play Sonic Boom so you know not all the episodes just some of the from the beginning and also the final one because I wanted to know what this what the final battle is like um, yeah, I was just checking if this thing before we this. Anyway, and also, today is uh, September the 10th. Tomorrow is 9 11. You know, so get ready for that. Does that mean, like, you know, four years ago, remember when Hillary Clinton went to the 9 11 memorial service and she was, like, feeling sick and everything and was, like, fainting and shit? And that's kind of one of the reasons. Secret of the Ice Castle, sorry. It's kind of one of the reasons why she lost the election, because everyone was saying, oh, she's unwell, she has dementia, seizures, all that shit. And when that happened, it proved people right. And in my belief that, yeah, Hillary Clinton was a seriously ill, like, sickly, you know, public figure. You know, so... They weren't wrong about her having, like, you know, any brain illnesses or, or sickness in general. I, I do believe it. It's not conspiracy. The reason why there's so much snow here is because mol Molus... I'm gonna call him Molus. I don't think it's Moles. Molus the crow boss made snow machines in Ice Castle. If you destroy the snow machines, I'm sure the dark gate leading to Molus will appear. Billy, you must find the snow machines and destroy them. So yeah, I mean like... Oh shit, I'm gonna get an egg. Fuck. So yeah, um, you know how, 
Yeah, so Sonic Boom had a, like a very sucky, you know, final boss battle and the music sucked and everything. Compared to Sonic 06 where the final battle is actually pretty good, you know? It, I, and it, it's actually said that it's one of the most decent final, like boss battles in Sonic 06. So it's quite a testament how Sonic Boom was just an absolute failure that turned out to be even worse than Sonic 06. Anyway, yeah, so I guess now the one thing I'd like to say is that I have, you know how I was saying about volunteering for a campaign? Well, I have contacted one and I think I'm probably like now about to join it, so I'm really looking forward to it. Although, I am kind of like really, really nervous because, you know, I've never done this before and also I'm going to actually meet that person this Sunday, like sometime at, at like 4 o'clock and stuff, and I was the one that suggested it because like that person was talking about some like like kind of programming to do like online and um, I didn't know how, how, how to do it, so I was like why don't I just come over and that person can show me. I'm being very anonymous with what I'm talking about because, you know, like I said, I don't want... I just want to be an office, you know? Oh yeah, I need a fire at Come on, come on. Oh, I know, I know, I know, fuck. I'm just wondering if these eggs, like, have something useful. I'm sorry if I'm, like, doing it, you know. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, it's just these guys. So, yeah. So I volunteered to come meet that person. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a time where I'm going to have to meet the person, like, face to face, I guess. Of course, I will definitely have mas a mask on, you know. Even though I'm not concerned about that virus, it's just for for that person's like priority. I'm pretty sure that person's like aware of the virus and stuff, and you know, I don't want to. I want to be polite, so I'm gonna wear the mask and stuff. I mean, I'm, you know what? I mean, I'm only saying it like that just because I want I want you guys to know that I'm not that paranoid of the virus that I'm, like, very fearful about everyone needing to wear a mask around me. Um, Cypher, powers of fire and passion. <laughs> what do they mean by passion? <laughs> when I hear passion, I think of sexual passion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. That's not the snow machine. By the way, it's um. Oh shit. Stop him. I know I'm using a fire egg, but. You know, that's just temporary. Oh fuck. I don't know why I was. I'm not gonna hatch it, because then I'd have two of these guys. It's gonna be so awkward. Anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, like, wear a mask just for politeness sake and everything, but if it was like, for, uh, if someone is with me and doesn't have a mask, I wouldn't be that worried, you know? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't demand you to be wearing a mask in front of me, that's what I'm saying. I'm very chill, so I'm not that worried about the virus. I'm like, ah, fuck. Oh shit, does that mean I... Is it gonna mess up my jump? Fuck. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I messed up on this. Do I have, do I have the, uh... No, I don't. I lost them. There's another, um... There are probably more of these eggs, like, when you get to the thing, so... Yeah, so I don't, I'm not too worried. So, I mean, you know, uh... Oh shit, okay, yes. Big egg, it's more damage. Let me see if I can try this again. I don't know how many lives I have. I hope it's enough. Okay, I'm not gonna talk for a bit, because I gotta concentrate on this. Got it. So here I am. Well, I don't think I'm that, there yet, actually, but... Oh, I'm getting there. Oh, shit. So, I'm gonna these guys as I can. 
And I'm gonna keep this egg until I find a fire, a fire egg. Oh shit. Oh, okay, or regular egg. I'm just curious what this thing is gonna give me. What the hell is this? Oh, is it like some kind of collectible? What is it? I have no idea what this does. But if it's like a helpful, helpful item, like if you fall down, um, you just get back up, you know, like it takes you back over, you know? I don't know, something like that. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, just as I thought. So yeah, so I'm gonna meet this person this Sunday. I hope it goes well, I'm kinda nervous about it, but I mean, I don't know, bear in mind that I have... Remember when I did this job application and I met, you know, my boss and like filled, tried to sign up for the job and everything and I got it? So it'll be probably the same thing like this. I mean, if I'm able to do that, I think I can do this, you know? That's what I'm wondering. I'm gonna keep this egg. Hold on. Oh, that's it. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Do these eggs contain anything? Try one more time. Yeah, they do! Nice! Okay, so I was right to like hatch it whenever I can, you know. Uh, I know I was destroying crates. I don't know if they had that. I probably was some food. So that's okay. I got one up anyway, so. Yeah, so maybe just keep this egg with me and uh. Get fruits as I can while I find a way inside. Oh, sorry. Okay. There we go. You know how there's like those snow particles on the screen and everything that you see? It, it'll actually calm down once I, uh, you know, destroy the snow machine. But that's just like a little nice feature of this game when it does, you know? Oh, sweet. It's ready. There we go. It always says nice hatch whenever I hatch them, but it's not like, um, you know, it just always says it. Oh shit, one point? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure these things damage you, uh, oh fuck. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it. Should I have gone back? I don't think so. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, wait, no, it's open. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a, uh, fire egg in here. Let's see if I can try to hatch it. Because it was like, so then I couldn't uh, get to the ledge and not like twirl and fall off. That's why. It wasn't because I accidentally pressed the wrong button. No, that was on purpose. Shit, let's try this again. Oh, can I do that? No, I don't want to do that. I'm just, you know, just afraid of my. Well, these things, ice things, hurt me while I'm like up in the air? I don't think so. Okay, it didn't hurt me. I'm good. Okay. Let's try again. Hold on. Uh, okay, good. And now this ice machine. Okay, got it. I have a fire egg, I have everything. And now I just need some fruits. Could be enough. Yes. Alright. Hatch it. There we go. Okay, now I have him. Now I gotta destroy these machines. I don't know if they're located in one area. That'd be nice if it is. Oh, okay, so here's one. 
right there. Uh, I'm gonna just ah. Oh, I just want to jump on the platform just so I can have a better target, you know. Yeah. So I am gonna see this person and we'll see how it goes. Sorry. Um, I don't know how how it's gonna. I mean, I hope it goes well. I mean, the person gave me the address, but. I don't know if that is if it goes to some like public area or, or to that person's house. I hope it's a public area and not that person's house because it'd be so weird, you know, going to their house. Like I don't like going to a stranger's house unless I fully know them, you know? There we go. That's one. They're all located in one area, by the way. So it's like pretty easy compared to the uh um compared to the um Oh yeah, the, the dino, like, lava place. You just break these and that's the- uh, you finished it. See, look, now you don't see any snow particles. Alright, now I can face this boss. You wanna know something? I used to call this boss, like, Jack Frost. Because, you know, it's like ice world and stuff. But it's- it's just molest. But I like calling him Jack Frost. Anyway, now it's time for the fight. Egg. I wonder if this ice is slippery. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, now it's gonna do this. I have to. Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh. Okay. Oh, I should get myself. Yeah, fruits. That sliding attack is so easy. Of course, me does this one is like pretty extreme. Ah, shit! Uh -huh. It's so weird, I'm not like getting hurt whenever I touch him, but compared to Captain Blur, I was getting hurt. Oh, shit. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna get back up. Okay. Oh jeez. This boss is actually pretty hard because it fucking oh jeez, I was speeding up. Fuck. Okay, oh fuck fuck fuck. Uh, at least oh, damn it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should try like yeah, bouncing up in the air rather than staying on the ground. So then I could properly dodge the attack, you know? That's probably what I used to do before, but you know. I was just Trying something different, like I get to speed up while I. Yeah. Alright. Got a text message, so. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Yeah, if you have an egg with you, it's like pretty easy to. Oh, for maybe if we have to make it bigger. Yes. It does more damage. Okay. Oh, look, see, he's almost dead. You have a bigger egg. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yes, I did it. I think he just got hit by one of those ice things. He's actually pretty hard, I have to admit. It's really hard to dodge that, like, ice ball thing, you know? Wow. How much to health. And yeah, his attack, like, the ice thing, takes out one full health. He's not that easy. Who texts me anyway? Oh, it's just Uber Eats. Fucking ads. <laughs> Alright. That was like my, uh, you know, the campaign I was working on, you know? 
or going to work on, but the per like that person texted me, you know. Yes, almost there. See that little like center rainbow thing? Yeah, that's like it's gonna do something when I light up everything, and also get enough emblems of courage because that's a thing in this game. Thank you, Billy. With this, Blizzard Castle will at last be at peace. Now, what was it you wished to speak to me about? Ah, yes, the giant egg. All I know is that is is this riddle that was passed down to me by my father. The six lights shall give rise to a rainbow. The answer lies there, beyond the rainbow's touch. I do not know what these six lights are, nor do I know where to find them. Well, I mean, fuck, this is so easy. It always shows you every time you finish a boss. It's so damn easy. However, I am sure that if you can decipher this riddle, you shall find the giant egg. I mean, you know, it is a simple kid's game anyway, so... Perhaps it would be best for you to talk with the elder of Circus Park. It lies to the southwest of here. I'm not saying it as an insult or anything, but it's like... It's not like Legend of Zelda, where you have to literally, like, use your brain to figure stuff out, you know? But this is just a... I mean, this game is mainly just like a platform. It's like a Super Mario game, kind of, you know? Where you mainly just rely on just platforming and everything, but like, there are some puzzles, but they're not as hard as Zelda, you know? I mean, they're fun puzzles, but they're not like, use your brain type puzzles, you know? And Circus Park, I love that level, by the way. The music, the nighttime music is like one of my favorites. I like, I, I always listen to it, you know? I don't know why, it's probably just so wacky. I love like, circusy music, you know? Like, creepy carnival stuff, yeah. I love how the world gets slightly brighter every time you complete something, that's pretty nice. Alright, Circus Park. Save Chicken Elder Alani. So the nighttime music to this is like one of my favorites, I always listen to it. Save Chicken Elder Alani. Listen to me, young Billy. The elder chicken of Circus Park, Alani, too, has been turned into a golden egg. You must find Alani's egg as quickly as possible, break the seal, and uncover yet another secret of the giant egg. Yeah, so it's like a creepy carnival place, you know? Oh shit. Oh fuck! I did not know there's nothing to support you, you know, if you. Oh well, my bad. I'm running out of lives, too, so. Oh shit, okay, yeah. I wanna talk to that. Hold on. This is Circus Park, the most famous chicken amusement park in the world. But ever since the crows took over, nobody comes here to play anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's like a jokester freak show kind of thing. I mean, like Joker, you know? Anyway. So yeah, anyway, so like I said, I hope the campaign goes well, and now, as a matter of fact, since I'm going to this unknown area, I am definitely going to contact my- I'm going to tell my uncle about this, about me volunteering for a campaign and where I'm going and stuff. Now, I'm not going to tell my parents this because, one, I mean, I don't know, I don't- I just don't- I want to keep it a secret, kind of, because I- Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I just saw this guy and then this happened. Yeah. So I mean like, I mean like, cause my parents were, like I said, were always saying to me, why don't you volunteer for a campaign? I mean, now I am, but I just don't want to tell them because I don't want, you know, I don't know, I just don't want to, I just want to keep it a secret, you know, if things go well, then I'll tell them. And if I, if it doesn't, if it doesn't go well, then I could tell them I did do this, but it just didn't work out well, you know? I'm curious what, what this egg has inside, hold on. Butterfly. I don't know what it does. Oh shit, do I need a blue egg? Huh. Hold on, I'm trying to... Oh wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Of course you need a blue egg. How else will I, you know... Yes. 
so yeah, I mean, like, I'm gonna tell my uncle about this, about where I'm going and stuff. You know, the thing is, you wanna know something? Whenever you're going to some unknown area, always tell your parents or your family member or your friends, like, where you're going, just so then, like, if something bad does happen, they would at least know where you've been and stuff. I mean, I don't know, I'm, I kind of like this because I've, I've heard this one news story about these, like, girls in Cleveland where they were abducted by this guy named Ariel Castro and, like, he was kid the kidnapping kind of thing. And he kept them kidnapped for about 11 years and stuff. So, and they couldn't, they never found them until, like, much later when his guard was down and one of them, like, kind of escaped out in the open, you know? But I'm only saying this because nobody could ever... Oh, shit, what the hell? Fuck. Nobody could ever find them, mainly because, like, they never really told anyone, like, where they were or anything, so... They, they knew they were lost, but they didn't know where they were, you know what I'm saying? So they were kind of abducted. So, that's why I'm kind of like that. Of course, I'm not saying that, oh, I'm afraid of my campaign and if they to No, it's just... If I'm going to some unknown area, I might as well just tell my uncle about this. And, like, you know, where I'm going and stuff. Ah, fuck. Yes, got it. Yeah, just might as well just tell my uncle about this like where I'm going so that he would know and stuff, you know? Anyway. Oh fuck. Yeah, if you just jump. Pretty much all good to go, no? Fuck! See this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can get up on the edge, sometimes you can't. Could have at least put like a little something to get on up there. I don't know. Just something. It's kind of ridiculous how. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping, and I hope. Cause I mean, I am kind of nervous about volunteering. Like this is like I I'm going to see a person that I don't know, and it's like sometimes I'm like afraid I might mess something up, and that make me really feel like really like really bad and stuff. So I just hope that nothing bad ever does happen and stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Fuck. I run out of one ups. Oh well. I mean, like I said, at least I completed the boss and I could just do this again. It's really hard. This game's really hard, you know? Like, there's no way not to get a game over on this. There's going to be times where you, like, die and stuff. I mean, now I have five, so that's good. I think I had five before, but it's like, like I said, that, that boss battle. And also when I died a few times in the ice, you know, at Blizzard Castle, really did a number, you know? So yeah, so that's what I'm afraid of, like messing up and stuff. And also, I'm still kind of have have anxiety with the campaign and stuff. Like with, um, I mean, luckily the reason why I'm, I'm sticking with doing this because now with the coronavirus going on, I feel like now this can't the campaigning and stuff would be like it's like going on training wheels because now I don't have to go door to door and like knock on doors and everything. Because even the candidate said that that person wasn't going to. Um, you know, uh, do this kind of thing because of the coronavirus. And I thought, and I was surprised, like, I thought, I knew about that, but I thought it would be like, you just knock on the door and you stand as far away as possible. And like, just to, just to at least knock, stand back, and then like, let them open the door and stuff. So it's pretty funny how even doing something like that is now a no-no in this time and stuff. Which I'm actually okay with, because I mean, they don't have to do the whole knocking on doors thing. And it makes things a lot easier. Like I said, it's like a campaign, it's like me going on training wheels kind of thing, you know? So... So I'm like really glad that it's something like that, you know? I mean, of course, if you don't knock on doors, then um, yeah! it, it, it'd be more likely for you to lose. But I'm pretty sure the opponent's also not doing that, so it's like we're all in the same boat, you know? Yeah! Come on. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, one more egg. I'm serious. This is like bad game design, honestly. Like, why can't there be just like a ledge? Like, 
or not alive to like just something to you know not be that hard to get up, you know? It's kind of ridiculous in a way. I always mistake buttons, I always press L instead of R. Anyway, but now we got this, so uh Where's the big egg? Oh, it, oh, it disappeared. Oh, okay, so if you don't use them, if they're out of their nest for too long, they respawn. That's good, so it's like you won't get stuck or anything. Yeah. 